Hey guys, Alpha101, and now that I'm back with my HPVR working and everything like that, I'm going to start reviewing maps again. So this one is called Canada 1.2, and it's made by me, and it uses a game mode survival instinct. And if you're wondering why it's called Canada, because Forge Island with a whole bunch of trees and rocks and radio towers and creepy houses that no one lives in, uh, that pretty much describes Canada. So, uh, yeah. Um, this is a map that's kind of like Hunger Games, I guess you could say. Um, you start with an energy sword, you have very low health, and you have to scavenge weapons to try and um, survive. It's a big free-for-all. Uh, but I definitely recommend uh, making teams. If you don't make teams, you're going to get yourself killed. Um, there's a whole bunch of different locations on the map that people like to visit. So, um, And these are big call-outs that you're going to have to know in order to do good on the map. So the first one we're approaching here, this is Barn and Silo. Um, it's a very good location, very popular location. Um, Heli Crash Site, this is my favorite location. You can get some decent weapons from here. Um, I would definitely recommend going there, but it's going to be a uh, lot of people contesting the good weapons there. Uh, this is the church, and the church is a really good place to go um, if you're starting out, but not too great of a place later on. Um, tents, also a good starting point, not a good point later on, a um, bit too open. Uh, we have Warthog, which you can get some decent, weapon from, uh, decent weapons from as well. And then you have Binary House, which I guess I kind of gave away one of the secret weapons in the map, but that is the call out. Everyone calls it Binary House, so I can't, I can't help that everyone calls it Binary House. And then obviously you have the Radio Tower uh, in the center of the map. Really good sniper vantage point, but you're, um, you're very open and people will constantly check there. So um, yeah, it's a very interesting map. We play it uh, a lot, and as you can see, I'm camping in the corner of the church right now. And I think Tendez is actually going to walk through there. Tendez is really good at this map, but I actually managed to kill him that round. So let's head into some first person gameplay. Uh, this is the round that I won. So I spawned off and I got a uh, shotgun. There are there are good spawns and bad spawns. People will say, oh, you should change that. But I don't know. I kind of like having the random aspect. And if you get a bad spawn, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose every single time. Uh, I'm teamed up with Lex right now. So uh, that's why I didn't shoot him. But... Um, in a minute, he's gonna die here because he he attacks this guy, but this guy has a suppressor and they go a little bit of engagement. But uh, Lex lost that fight, and so he ran out of ammo though. So I'm just gonna chase him down, avenge my dead teammate. And uh, what's really good about having a teammate is that you can um, you can coordinate. Like after he's dead, he can uh, look where all the players are and you can kind of tip your locations. Um, assault rifle is probably it's probably my favorite weapon on the map. Um, it's a really 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 good gun to get because it's it's only a five hit kill. And, I mean, you can find bolt shots everywhere, which you kind of use as a pistol, but uh, they're also a five-hit kill. So the assault rifle is like an automatic bolt shot. It's probably it's probably the best weapon besides any specialties like sniper rifle or uh, rockets or something like that. Um, you also saw the hidden sticky detonator there. Not many people know about that. Um, but once you guys get to know the map, like, you might play this for the first time and not enjoy it too much, but you guys have to play it a couple times. And once you know the map, once you know the locations, um, some gun places, then uh, it's a lot more. It's a lot more fun, and uh, it's just a map that we we've played a lot and we've done a lot of testing with. And I might make more maps for this game mode just because uh, I mean um, a lot of people really like it, and it, I don't know. I, I think it's a kind of unique and fun experience. So the church is kind of a good place. You want to get a shotgun off spawn, or if you really want to camp in a building. Um, it's really good if the enemy, if you're like, it's like a 1v1 situation and the, and the other guy has like a uh, sniper rifle, because the sniper rifle will dominate you pretty much everywhere else. Um, so I killed the 10 devs, got the only other assault rifle on the map. There's only two assault rifles, only one rocket launcher, so um, he had some decent gear, which I took. Um, we're approaching the end here, there's a couple guys. Uh, Lex has been tipping me off the locations of uh, some of my enemies, that's how I knew he was up in Radio Tower. People say it's kind of like cheating, but I just, I don't know, it's really good team coordination. And uh, it's not like it gives you too significant advantage. I mean, it'll let you know where people are, but, um, you know, it, at this point, it was literally everybody else versus me. Like, they all teamed up against me and Lex because, I don't know, they just they just really hated us. <laughs> because uh, we kept on teaming in, like, previous games, and we would always, like, win the entire time. and because uh, we were using good coordination, so this happens a lot, where it's literally us versus the world. It's kind of funny. Now, you guys can't hear right now, but I can hear, um, I think it's Dunes, he's the last man standing, and I can hear his footsteps with my turtle beaches, but since the volume was kind of down, then you guys probably can't hear it, so that's why I fired the rocket just randomly on the ground there, and thought he was coming around the corner, but he wasn't. Uh, so I'm kind of running away. He has a sniper rifle though, so I'm kind of I'm kind of cautious. I don't I don't want to walk too far into the open because otherwise I'm gonna get I'm gonna get sniped. 
And I mean, a sniper rifle is an instant kill. Even if you got shot in like the toenail, you're still gonna die. So um, yeah, you, you gotta be careful. A sniper rifle is one of the the better hidden weapons. Um, there's a sniper rifle, rocket launcher, sticky detonator, and binary rifle. Those are the um, the four hidden guns on the map. And then the other ones are, um, you know, they're pretty easy to find. You'll find them. You'll find weapons next to crates in the middle of nowhere. Like if you're just in the middle of the forest, you'll find weapons next to crates, or you'll find weapons in buildings and stuff. And you kind of have to scavenge, uh, scavenge around. So I see Dunes. He's got a sniper rifle. So I'm gonna be peeking behind cover constantly. And then I finally, after he wastes his shots, I finally get him. So anyways, this has been Canon 1.2, hope you guys download and have a good day.